Simmers, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'll be showing you around to my modern contemporary house. And this house has a kind of masculine theme. So most of the furniture that you can see later inside the house are in dark colors. And here, the roof of the house, I used the lavish counter for this. And it really looks so amazing. And these pillars right here, they are the service cupboard. You can actually see them in the counter section. If I'm not mistaken. And now let's go to the gate. So this is the main gate of the house. I decided to put the fountain on each side of the gate because I think it's really so relaxing standing in front of the gate, hearing the flow of the water and it really seems so peaceful. And I chose to use these lamps because it looks so vintage and it looks perfectly fit with the gate. And in this side, you can see there is a black door. Behind this door is where the trash bins located. And here it is. I did not bother to put flooring in this little room it's just like i find it mm, a waste of simoleons so just let it be like that okay so going back in this area on the right side here is the garage and i chose this sports black sports car because Mm -hmm. I already told you that this house is really about masculine theme and yes it's perfect right here and this cross trainer uh, the owner of the house usually use this especially early in the morning and it's really nice to start your day actively and okay let's go to Let's go back to this area, I mean. So let's go inside to the gate. So this is what it looks like inside. And in this area, I put this chairs right here so that people or the seems who who are living in this house can actually have some relaxing talk and i still love the idea of putting the what do you call this one yeah this thing i really don't know how to call this and you can see this kind of style from my one of my previous build it's a it's on the island and i have yeah just look at the video below i put it there and it feels so relaxing also and now let's go here yes i already showed you around here so before we go inside the house let's take a tour first start from this staircases and above the garage is the hangout area and here what it looks like so when friends or relatives family of the owner of this house usually they gather here to have some fun and i decided to put some drinks right here so that they will not bother to go up and down just to get drinks from the kitchen and yes there's also television in this area so they can really totally enjoy their time 
hanging out in this room. So that is the hanging out area. And now let's go back in this part of the house. And I decided to put a door straight to the kitchen. And it looks so amazing. Like that. So if you're already too hungry or too thirsty from your travel, so you can immediately go straight to the kitchen. I like that idea. Let's close it again. And now let's go to the entrance area. And yes, this is the owner of the house. As I said, this house is in a kind of masculine theme, but the owner is a woman. And she's a cool woman. Her name's Janeth. And here she is eating apple, pear. I'm not sure what fruit is that, but yeah, she's enjoying. And this is what the living room looks like. So this is just a very simple living room. I do not bother to put televisions in here because later on we will go to the second floor. That's where the entertainment area situated. And right here, I decided to put a white piano. And this part is just so simple. And I forgot where I got these things, but this picture frame right here with um, with a light, little light, I got this one from the online store. And here, so you can see this little thing monitor right here. So the purpose of this one is just, you can imagine that if there is a visitor in front of the gate, the owner can immediately check who is that person by looking at this monitor it's cool right <laughs> okay so going back to this area you can see there is a door connected to the kitchen but before that there is the comfort room or the powder room so the theme inside this comfort room is also black and I just made it so simple I just did put some toiletries right there and this is what it looks like I will show you right here that one so that is the powder room okay so now let's continue let's go to the kitchen and this is what the kitchen looks like I decided to use the white counters for this so that it's not too dark in this house and the pantry is just right here and then there's a white trash bin and yes finally free plague already has cooker rice cooker but hmm, the action here I, it's not really that amazing but yeah i'm just so glad that we have more and more stuff added in the game and this is what the counter area look like so i just did put the fire place right here so that while they're enjoying having drinks in this corner they can also feel warm and have fun talking and right here is where they dine and I decided to use these chairs because it looks so comfy and yeah Sims cannot use them so this is just a very plain decorations so don't bother to ask me why I use them because I will not also let my seam sims use them and that's what the first floor look like okay so now let's go to the second floor 
and this is the second floor of the house as i told you the the entertainment area is right here i did not bother to put a lot of things right here but i decided to put this um i forgot the name of this stereo I don't know the specific name but yeah i decided to put there because it looks so vintage and a little touch of gold so that's the entertainment room looks like and right here is the first room of the house and before you enter that room you can see in this corner i decided to put this counter with a painting and this plants yeah i really like putting lots of plants in my builds because it looks so peaceful another plant right here so this is the first room of the house it looks so masculine and I really like the style this is the first time that I use these counters beside a table and I so love the idea and yeah this window looks like closet but honestly it's, it's really a window and I really love the idea and you cannot see here because there's a room right there so let's open this part so that's a window but the illusion itself makes it look like a closet and I so love that part and yes I decided to put an amenities corner right here so that when the owner of this room likes reading something while enjoying his cup of coffee so he or she can immediately make one for her okay that's it and this door right here will lead you to the bathroom area and this is what it looks like I did not bother also to put lots of things here because I want to make this house look so neat so I just did put a basin uh, a toilet bowl and a bathtub that's all okay so that is the second floor of the house and I'm so sorry guys I did not I did not bother to make a live build of this house it's because I really did changed a lot of things the room sizes during the process so i was already confused and i decided not to build not to do a live build but don't worry there will be a floor plan at the end of the video and lastly this staircase will lead you to the master's bedroom but wait i really love this idea like when you are walking down the staircases you can actually see yourself in front of this mirror and it really looks so cool it just like you are walking on the runway that's the feeling and yeah i feel i found it so funny at the same time it sounds so cute okay that's it so now let's continue the tour before you go to the master's bedroom the first thing that you can see in this area is the mini office of the owner so I just did put this couch and this new computer desk with bookshelves on each side and right there and in front of it is the owner's portrait isn't she beautiful yeah she's really beautiful and that's it 
it's very simple and now let's go to the owner's bedroom here it is it's quite spacious and I really really love this corner of the room beside that there is a cute entertainment area where the owner can immediately watch her favorite show and I do not bother to put paintings on these walls because I want to make it simple and this is the bedroom I mean the bed of the room so I did also put more rugs in here so that it will not look so messy because in my opinion too much rugs in the room looks the room messy dirty yeah i don't really like that kind of sight okay and this door right here this white door is the closet and this opened door is the bathroom and yes i also do not bother to put so much stuff in here just a simple basin a bath tab and a toilet bowl everything is simple and that's the third floor of the house and that's the end of the tour around my modern contemporary house so if you guys do have some suggestions or any requests, you can actually put them on the comment section. If I have some free time, I will try my best to do them. And don't forget, there will be a floor plan at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye!